Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, we are going to go over metals. Metals that you're going to find in medical environments. And more specifically, drill bits and how they relate to different types of metals. Very important. Coming up next, right here on Better Biomed. All right, guys, welcome back. Today, we are going to go over metals that you find in medical environments and more specifically, drill bits and how we can use drill bits to tackle metals that we find in medical environments. So one of the first and most important things that you should know is that metals that we find on medical equipment are much more hard than metals that you find in regular civilian environments. It's generally a stainless steel, but stainless steel is a much harder metal. And metals come in all different grades of hardness. And in order to be able to treat those metals, you need to have the right drill bit for the job. And that's why we're going to go over drill bits because I have a new product that I just got in that might change the game. So let's start all at the beginning, hardness of metals. Now we have some metals that are kind of chewy, like this right here, which is solid copper. And then we've got some metals like the stainless steel right here, which based on what I can see, this one here looks like it is a hardened steel that is plated. It is nickel plated or chrome plated. And I can tell by the crinkling effect, but it is still going to be a very hard metal. And one of the reasons I know that is because this metal right here is a lever and it's a long lever. So because it doesn't bend, you know that this metal is going to be extremely hard. Now, metals can be hard based on their alloy or based on their treatment. So I can take a standard metal and heat it up. And by heating it up with a torch, we can quench it and actually increase the hardness of the metal. And when you do that, it becomes brittle. Brittle is the ability to snap and break. Whereas a lot of metals, they will bend nice and smooth. Anybody that has bent a coat hanger knows about soft steel, okay? So soft steel, you can bend it around and after a while of bending it, it does something called work harden and then it snaps, right? Coat hangers, they bend, 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 and then they snap. Well, that is a soft metal. A hard metal will bend and then crack. And that takes me to drill bits because drill bits come in different hardnesses themselves. And what's even more of an advancement than the hardness of the metal is the coating, which is what they put on the outside of the drill bit, which gives it additional properties, which is pretty exciting. So let's go ahead and cover some of the metals that we will find in drill bits. So one of the first metals that you were going to find, let's see if we can find a good one here. Um, this one, I can tell by the color of it. It's nice and shiny and silvery. This is going to be something called HSS or high speed steel and high speed steel is harder than a normal steel. So I could probably go ahead and drill right through a softer steel. No problem at all. But this one here doesn't have a coating and it's going to need sharpening because the edge is going to wear away. So just like with knives and many other things, your edge will wear away if you try and tackle a harder metal than your drill bit. And it's entirely possible. So let's take, for instance, this stainless steel right here. If I were to go ahead and drill this piece with this high speed steel, or some of the cheaper steels that we find in some of the Chinese drill bits, then what's going to happen is you're going to dull the bit almost instantly. And I probably have a load of dull drill bits because I generally work with harder steels. That's just one of the things since I do a lot of metal work when it comes to medical equipment, I get dull drill bits. So I'm always looking for the next and best thing. So our first drill bit is going to be high speed steel. Right. The second type 
is going to be this type right here. Now this is a titanium oxide and you can see right here we have titanium and we have titanium nitride which gives it that yellow coating. Now the coating is a chemical process to a high speed steel drill bit where you will introduce it to certain chemicals and they bind to the outer outermost level and it gives it that coating and that color. Okay, ooh, look at that, it's magnetic. That's another interesting trait of steels. So the thing about hardness of metals is that as they get harder, they get more brittle. Case in point, over here I've got solid carbide. Now carbide is extremely hard. Like this bit right here, this is an end mill. We use it for cutting other steels. It's not meant for drilling. End mills are very sharp and they last a long, long time. Solid carbide. And I know it's carbide because you can feel the heft. Its density is so much heavier than something like this. You would think that this drill bit is, is way larger. It should be heavier. No, the carbide is much, much heavier. So one of the techniques that tool makers have is they will take carbide and they will weld it to a base metal of high speed steel. And this bit is a perfect example. This edge on the very outside, this outer edge is carbide. It's a shard of carbide that they welded to a high speed steel. So it's got some of the traits of both. You can take a look, this piece is bent. Carbide will not bend. Now carbide is one of those type of metals where it's really good in one force direction, but when you try to move it in another force direction, it will just snap right off, which you can tell right here with this bit, it bent. So high speed steel, carbide. I wish I could have drill bits that were made of carbide, but it's not a luxury that we have. So what they do is they do different coatings or different base materials in order to increase the longevity and the sharpness of the drill bit. So right here we have titanium nitride. This one right here. This is a black oxide, very good, kind of semi-expensive drill bit, but the black oxide is a thin coating. It also wears off. Drill bits are a consumable. That's all there is to it. I got right here a uh, boron, and uh, this is a very hard drill bit. Very good for, for uh, stainless steels, but it can snap off very dramatically. So. If you are ever drilling with one of these harder style drill bits, it will bind a little bit. You got to ease off the trigger because if it binds, it's going to snap this guy right off. And that is one of the problems with drill bits. Now there's others like this one here has a different type of coating on it. These ones here have a different type of coating and coatings just give it a little bit of extra life, but they also enable the drill bit to stay cooler because when you drill harder steels you should be using a lubricating oil so i've got a whole assortment of different drill bits here different types of metals because i do work on all sorts of different types of equipment and many medical devices or a very hard steel so let's go ahead and check out this piece right here. This is actually a bent piece. Since it bent and it didn't shear off, we know that this is a somewhat soft and docile metal, but at the same time, it's pretty hefty because this piece is used on a lever. Let's go ahead and choose this drill bit. So this piece right here is copper and copper does not need a lubricating oil when you're drilling it. One of the things I should point out is that when you're drilling metals, the harder the metal, the slower the drill has to operate. If you run a drill bit at an extremely high speed while you're cutting a hard metal, like this piece over here, then it will get hot and when it gets hot it changes its uh, metallic properties and when a bit changes its metallic properties it will dull almost immediately or snap off 
And the last thing you want is a drill bit snapped off in your workpiece because if that happens, you are going to have a very bad day trying to get that drill bit out. Because remember, drill bits are harder than standard steel. So drilling through a drill bit is extremely difficult. And it's one of those things where you know you're going to have a bad day if you snap off a drill bit into a workpiece. So here we got copper and I've got a standard drill bit and this one feels like it's kind of sharp. Let's take a look. So this is copper and like I said, when you're running something on a softer metal, you can run it at a higher speed. So just a mild to moderate downforce. You can see right there. That's probably not the sharpest drill bit in the world, but it did make a nice clean hole. And I've got copper shavings all over the place. Nice coils. So one of the misconceptions about drill bits is that a lot of people want to take these small bits and they put 20, 30 pounds worth of force as you're trying to drill through a material because the drill bit is either a softer material than your base material you're drilling or because the drill bit is slightly dull. And as you run those bits at a higher and higher speed, they're gonna get hotter, which is one of the reasons they have a coating is to try and solve that problem. So let's go ahead and take a look. I've got this metal, which is a harder metal. I'm gonna first apply a little bit of lube. And let's see. So one of the things I want to point out to you guys is that when you are going to drill a workpiece, you always want to try and center punch it first. So let's say I got the smooth surface right here. I want to center punch exactly where I want to start. And the reason being is because you have a piece of metal that you are spinning and as you spin it, it wants to walk either with the angle of the workpiece or it's going to want to walk just because of the rotational force of the bit. So we want to give it a place to start Boop, right there. So let's go ahead and take a look and get my drill bit lubricated. I'm going to center it on the point that I just center punched. Notice it's starting to cut immediately. I'm applying very little downforce. I'm letting the drill bit do the work. I can tell that this is definitely a harder piece of steel. Notice how I'm not going very fast. It did make a very nice cut. So this drill bit right here is going to be a nice one. I'm going to save that one off to the side because that's a good one. But I'm not gonna cut all the way through because I wanna demonstrate the very product I wanted to show you in this video. Spider, drill bits, all these things. I have heard so much about these mock blues and today we are gonna go ahead and take a look and see do they live up to the hype. Now, from what I can tell, they say that this is a coating, but what I see is a stainless steel bit, it appears, and I can tell by the rainbow color at the shank that these ones here have a heat treating. And when you heat up stainless steel, it does discolor like that. So I don't know if there is a chemical process that creates a coating on the outside, or is it really just the fact that it is a heat treated piece of steel? So that one there, I barely applied any force and it caught, I don't know, let's say a millimeter and a half down. So let's go ahead and take an equivalent size spider. I'm gonna go ahead and lubricate it in the same type of oil. We are going to go ahead and center punch a hole next to the other one. Okay. So these spider drill bits, they do come in a quarter inch hex. So I could either use it in my impact or I can put it in the drill. I'm gonna use the drill just because I can control the rotational speed a wee bit better. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the drill bit 
at the point that I center punched. And let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, I'm barely pressing down at all. And, uh, all right, it is definitely cutting some chunks out. Definitely cutting some chunks out. Okay. So with me putting almost no weight on the drill at all, these are sharp little bad boys, I can tell you. All right, let me get a little bit more lube on it. And let's see how easy it is for me to drill all the way through. Now I'm basically just applying the weight of the drill itself. Because of the coating, they say that I can use a higher speed on these type of bits. All right, well, this is a harder steel. I've got a little bit of wobble on this drill bit. Let's go ahead and take a look. Ooh, I'm almost through on that. All right, let's clean it off. Okay. I don't want to shear these this bit off. Give it a hot supper and see how it handles. This is way too fast for this type of drilling. But what I do want to see is the temperature of the drill bit. Wow. With what I just did, I should not be able to touch this at all. And look at that, right in the crack of my hand, not a single problem. It's cool to the touch. I wouldn't have believed that. There's no way with most of my other drill bits that I would have done that because I would have burned the heck out of my hand. Yeah, that's that hole is almost exactly all the way through. So these spider drill bits, they're made in the USA and they're known for their quality, which these ones here are definitely cutting. And like I said, this is an extremely hard metal. All right. So let's go ahead and take this guy out. Let's try a much more difficult drill bit. Let's see, I'll put him back in the index. So these kits are called an index. So that's an index. That's an index, that one over there, that's an index. So when you say drill bit set, it's a drill bit index. Okay, let's go up quite a bit of size. Uh, this one here, uh, what size is this, Seven thirty seconds? Okay, now the, normally I would pilot a seven thirty seconds hole, but let's see how this little bad boy can handle it. If I just go ahead Center punch a hole. I'm gonna use the impact. Let's do it. If it breaks, it breaks. I do wish that these drill bits were a little cleaner right here because I can see that this is uh, molded aluminum. That's near the shank of the drill bit. There's a little bit of flashing there, but not too much. So let's go ahead and place my 730 seconds. Get some oil on it. This is not the best cutting oil in the world. But it's going to work. Okay. Oh, I can tell that this is a very sharp drill bit too. Okay. Seven thirty seconds, and this is with an impact driver. I would never do it like this. I would always use a pilot hole. It is definitely doing it though. Look at that. I'm using very little downforce. Now 
Let's speed it up a little bit. Wow. I got some pretty clean chips coming out there. Oh, all right. I'm not going to go all the way through. Let's see. Is it, sure? Is it hot? It's warm. It's not crazy hot because I'm definitely touching it. So, uh, and my chips... Let's take a look at the chips. Come here. So the chips are pretty clean. Take a look at that. I've had so many metal slivers in my hands. I'm just kind of used to it by now. So guys, these ones right here are going to be now in my kit. The Spider Mach Blue Drill Bits. And... From what I can tell, they're extreme little sharp bad boys. They come in an index, which is kind of shallow. You can see some of my other indexes are pretty fat. I guess these are a little bit skinnier than the DeWalt kit. See right there. But uh, that is an extremely hard metal. Um, the heat treating seems to be working. Let's go ahead and reverse this guy. So I can try and drill the rounded shaft because one of the things that they said is that because of their type of point, there we go, I'll, I'll do it right on the angle. They said because of the type of point that they can drill a curved surface easier than other bits, which I guess. Um, so the point right here determines its cutting traits. So there's a whole variety of different points that you can get on drill bits and some of them do not want to cut curved surfaces at all. But this one, this one will do it no problem from what I have seen. Okay, and as I said before, a center punch. We are going to be using a 1 8 inch drill bit. This is a very popular size. One of the most popular ones for people to snap off in their index. Or they're just missing from a lot of people's indexes. There we go. Okay, let's lube up the bit. Good. Let's center it on the curved surface. Now this is probably a harder steel than that tab that I just drilled. So this should be very interesting. And it started drilling right away. No way. It did walk a little bit. All right, I'm going to change my angle. That's probably me because I'm standing off the side because of the camera. It's cutting right in, and I know that this is a harder steel. I'm kind of surprised about this. Look at those chips. That's beautiful. I'm going to go all the way through. Look at that. Oh my God. How cool is that? It went completely through it. Now... I can tell you from experience, drilling through a shaft like that, that's what, a quarter inch shaft? That is a tiny hole. That would snap drill bits, and that would be a big problem because of the hardness of the steel and the fact that I'm drilling like half the diameter of the material itself. So guys, I am extremely happy about these drill bits. I will go ahead and leave a link in the video description on where you can find them, I got these from Lowe's of all places. So Lowe's is going to be the new authorized distributor for Stinger Spider Bits. 
Now, Spider's been around for a while. They make all sorts of different cutting blades and stuff. But these are a new offering from the Mock Blues. I like it. I love them. And next time you guys are drilling, remember to keep the speed slow and use the correct bits. Not all bits are going to serve the purpose. If I had an index of these high-speed steel bits right here, there's no possible way they would have cut through that metal. And if they would have, it would have been very slow and they'd probably be total bits after. And there's no way for sure at that diameter. One eighth on that hard steel, not a chance. There you have it, guys. There's all different types of metals that we use. They have different traits. They have different coatings. And one of the things you should be aware of is that metals that we use in medical environments are harder. You have to keep your drill speeds slower and use lubricant while you're cutting. That way there, it keeps the drill bit nice and cool while it attacks the base material. So guys, hope you enjoy this video. Just a little tidbit about some drill bits that I found very recently. How cool is that? I'm very satisfied. Maybe I'll get an index like that for here at the shop. You can tell I have all sorts of drill bits because I do lots of different types of metal work. It is what it is. I've got all sorts of carbide. Love carbide. All right, guys. I'll take enough of your time. Y'all have a wonderful day.